Eu hey, meus manos, bem-vindos ao vídeo canal. Eu não entendi esse final, quer dizer, não entendi foi nada. Damn it, I've done this before. Eu hey, hey, meus manos, bem-vindos. No, 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 that's Spanish. Turn it. Bem. Bem. Vindim. Ok, alright, ok. <laughs> E aí, meus manos, bem-vindos a mais um vídeo do canal. Hoje eu vou responder perguntas que vocês mandaram no meu Instagram pra mim e pra Holly, tá? Então vai ser bem bacana, vocês vão conhecer um pouco melhor o nosso relacionamento, tudo sobre a gente, respondendo as perguntas de vocês. Então se você não me segue no Instagram, segue lá, arroba Pro, pra você poder participar talvez no próximo vídeo. E só um adendo, esse vídeo vai ser um pouco mais tranquilo, sem tanta edição, sem tanto meme, porque meus vídeos com a Holly estão sendo desmonetizados. E eu não sei ao certo ainda por quê. Pode ser que seja o Brazers, pode ser que seja nossas brincadeiras e tudo mais, então por por isso eu vou tentar ficar um pouco mais family friendly nesse vídeo aqui. Você disse que vamos ser family friendly em isso? Yes. Então, não há palavras ruins. Não, ok. Ok, first question. Okay. What's the negative side of dating an athlete? Negative side of dating an athlete. Vai dar merda! Vai dar merda! So no bad words. <laughs> like bodybuilding specifically, can I go with that? Or just in general athletes? I'm a bodybuilding athlete. I don't know, sometimes it's like, our, not always, definitely not always, but sometimes like our everything revolves around something and I, it's hard to watch you on stage. No, I'm gonna change my answer. <laughs> you, I mean, that's a no. Watching, watching the you is the hardest part for me, in all honesty, watching you That on doesn't stage. sound good at all, it sounds like you hate It's looking at me. No, it's terrifying. I'm like so nervous. I can't breathe the whole time. I swear, I'm like more nervous than you when you're up there. That is the worst part. I feel like you'd be the same if you were my child. I'd be scared to watch you on stage if you were my kid too. But then also prep is hard sometimes. And you're snoring. You're But that's, snoring. That's not, that's not like me being an athlete. It's Before me being Before you heavy. gained all of this, you didn't snore. And now you snore, so I directly blame it. Okay, that's fair. That is my final answer. Gloria, adios. So, I mean, related to that question, then you just talked about snoring. How was for Holly getting used to see Kyle gaining weight so fast? Honestly, like it was weird because when it happened, it was like you got bigger every day. So it's almost like you didn't, I didn't even really see it. And then now when I look back at photos of you, like photos when you mm -hmm. were like proposing to me, yeah. I'm like, were you ever that small? Like, I, like back then I was like, oh my gosh, he has so many muscles. He's so big and you were, but like compared to what you are now, it's yeah. like, like you're a different person. But that's the thing. Back then, if I told you I'm gonna be this big, what would you? Think about that. I'd probably be like, oh, I don't think I want you to look like that. Like, But I now I look like that, and what do you think about it? And I'm like, wow, you're so Do you hot. like this better? Or... Yeah, yeah. I don't, you have it in your mind that you want to be like huge, like one of those huge guys, yes. and I don't know if I want that, but. But you got used to this. It's true, I'll support you no matter what, I guess. Aww. Hey, but okay, so I have a question. I was a diff had a much different body during that time too, so how was it to see? For you to see me start to get into fitness. It was cool. <laughs> My God, what a terrible answer. It, it's it's nice. I never force you to do anything. No. I like you just the way you are. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, babe. But I I like to like having common. I think it's nice that you can share that. My time, my time. I like having common goals, mm -hmm. which is nice. I also like you understanding better what I go through. Yeah. And I also like you being healthier. Yeah. Because like, I'm gonna raise my kids to be healthy. So if my wife is not healthy, she's not gonna give the best example that I want to give to my kids, you know? So that, yeah. would, that would create conflict. Are you, your kids gonna watch you take steroids? <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Are you gonna... Are, 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 are my kids gonna watch you... Um, Watch what you say. Watch you. Um, let me think about it. <laughs> yeah, move on. Next no, question. No, I gotta think of something. <laughs> you tried. <laughs> This one a lot of people asked. Are you planning on having a baby? Yes, we are. If it was up to you, I would be pregnant right now. 
<laughs> but I need to get a job first and I need to get like every all my ducks in a row so I'm ready relatively. I never heard that expression, ducks in a row. Yeah, you know like mama duck and like the little ducks follow her. She like lines them up and then they follow her. <laughs> How are you going to have your ducks behind you if you want to have your ducks behind you before you have a duck? Não, eu não entendi, mas tô compreendendo. She has to make sure all of her ducks are in a row behind her ready before she goes. But that analogy doesn't work. Dude. Because the ducks are her babies. And you want to have your babies behind you before you have a baby. É verdade. I think we'll do it relatively soon, but... Um... I'm not 100% ready right this second. Although Kayo is. <laughs> if we got pregnant, it would not be the end of the world. We, I'd be very happy. But if I could decide, if 90, I can choose, 90, I'm saying like 75%. There's still, there's still stuff I gotta get ready. I'm not ready yet. No one, no one's 100% ready. Even if you're pregnant and two days away from having your baby, you're not 100% ready. So 75, I think, is pretty good. Okay. Why don't you get pregnant? What do you, Holly? Are all the questions for me? Yeah, pretty much. Sorry about Wait. your subtitling. But the baby, I didn't. You just answered for me. Okay, yeah. Are you ready? How are you? Well, I already know you're ready. I, I spoiled it. You're right. But give them your answer. Why do you want a baby right now? How about that? Because my life has no purpose until I have a baby. Até parece um artista de cinema. I need a Cosmo. Bingo. Yeah, YouTube. but I got that under control. Bodybuilding. I need a next challenge. <laughs> I want a baby. That's a lifelong challenge that you're signing up for. I want a little you. You want a girl, but I want a little baby boy that no. looks just like you. Yeah, I was very cute. Eu sou desumilde. But I was I want, cute. I want a little you. Comment down below, what do you think is best? A little Holly or a little Kyle? Get me a girl. I'm sure there are tricks that you can No, do. literally, it is all up yeah. to you. So yeah. what do I have to do? Like, paint my dick pink? Oh, science. Okay, just answer real fast this one, okay? Because we gotta keep it family friendly. Okay. But the use of stories changed your sex life. Yes, but I would say for the better. Now the world don't move. Holly, do you want to learn Portuguese? I am taking classes every week and I'm getting better at it. If they see that last video of you talking to me in Portuguese, I understand a lot. If someone's comment was really interesting. They said it's because I understand a lot passively, but actively I'm not able to speak yet. So I'm yeah. on the right track. I mean, that's normal. It happens to everyone. everyone. Yeah. You know, you understand, but you can't really put the sentence together because you think too much and you, you can't remember the words, you know? Like when you hear it, you know what it means, but when you're about to say it, you forget about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Holly, do you feel pressured in having a nice body because you're married to Kyle? You have never pressured me. The people you surround yourself with influence you a lot. So I'm surrounded by a lot of people who are really healthy, they're really into fitness, and so naturally I got into that. Um, so some people might say that that's pressure, but I love it and I'm doing this challenge and everything, I'm doing it for me, so, and you help me um but you've never like made me feel bad or feel like i need to change my body in some way neither have any of our friends but i mean you decided to get in shape after you started dating me you know, yeah like, yeah you felt that pressure kind of like oh he's a bodybuilder people are gonna look at me and be like oh why is he with her did yeah. you ever think that when we first started dating i was worried about that no one ever said anything mean to me about it none of your followers and everyone has been super great since i decided to go on a fitness journey but again i think it's just like when you surround yourself with people who are dedicated and motivated, uh, you're it's talking awesome. too much too much too many subtitles you're just talking in circles só, só pra explicar, eu não quero parecer grosso, <risos> mas eu tenho que editar esse vídeo no mesmo dia que eu vou postar ele. Então não pode ser tanto legenda, senão eu não vou conseguir postar tempo pra vocês. Desculpa. Não, you're fine, you're fine. It's not your fault. I just, I don't have... <risos> you talk a lot too. I know. I just don't have a lot of time to I know, I know, I know. Okay. How to maintain trust for a long time in a relationship? People ask this a lot, especially when we were long distance, and I don't have a good answer because you've never ever done anything that would even remotely make me question you. Like, I've never had a problem with you traveling, even if 
you were traveling with like other girls. Like I know in my soul that you would never cheat on me. So I don't think about it. I don't have to do anything to make myself trust you. Like yeah. I just yeah, do. Uh, I just know you. I know you. Yeah, yeah. And that goes both ways. I don't even think about cheating on you. There you go. I'm gonna speak Portuguese. That's okay. Cara, eu e a Holly, a gente nunca na vida, nunca na vida, a gente já brigou por várias coisas, mas a gente nunca brigou por ciúmes ou por esse tipo de coisa. Simplesmente a gente nunca deu um motivo um pro outro pra duvidar sobre isso, pra ter realmente problema de confiança. E assim, cara, eu sempre fui muito sincero com ela. Então eu tava em Las Vegas com o Léo Araújo, com o meu amigo Ulisses e tudo mais, a gente foi sair pra uma balada e eu ia ficar bêbado aquele dia com meus amigos. Então eu avisei ela, falei, ó, oh, hoje eu vou ficar bêbado agora à noite e vou pra balada, né? Então ela falou, beleza, a única coisa é só tomar cuidado, não fazer uma besteira, não seja preso, né? É, tipo, tome cuidado com suas coisas, né? Senão tá todo mundo bêbado em Las Vegas, vai saber o que acontece. E foi só isso, eu só falei pra ela ficar ciente, porque ia fazer histórias na balada e tudo mais, pra ela entender o que tava acontecendo. E também, por caso eu parasse de responder ela no celular e tudo mais, ela ia entender o que tá acontecendo. E ela também já foi assistir show de música com as amigas dela e tudo mais, sabe? Tipo, não é, cara, eu não sei explicar pra vocês a fórmula mágica pra chegar nesse nível de confiança um com o outro, porque desde o começo do nosso relacionamento, a gente sempre confia um no outro dessa maneira e sempre foi assim. How does Holly motivate me when I'm prepping? One thing that she does that's awesome and I never asked her to do that is that she will never eat anything in front of me that she knows I want. Like fast food, you no know, junk food, all this stuff that smells great is gonna make me crazy. She never brings that home. If she wants to eat something like that, she doesn't even tell me. She's out, she goes eat it and doesn't <laughs> post a picture she just hides it and that's awesome because i never asked her to do that and i don't think i should ask her to do that because i chose to be in prep i chose to be dieting so that's my problem and if she wants to eat something she can but it's awesome that she does that because sometimes when i'm prepping and i'm really really hungry the last thing i want is just like smell a pizza or a burger and watch her eat it why i can't eat it and enjoy it with her so that's one thing good I'm glad. Do, do you do anything else? What? You tell me. Uh, I mean... I compliment you constantly. Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing, like, I don't really listen to your compliments <laughs> because it's you. Of course you're gonna be complimenting I'll me. I'll be mean this time. This time I look at you and be like, mm, you're holding a lot of water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just because, like, I know you're always gonna be nice to me and sometimes I need the coach to be like you messed up you know you need to work out harder or die harder like yeah. because i need that feedback to get better yeah. and you you're gonna think i look great to step on stage like one month before i'm really ready <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm your biggest fan baby yeah i know it's awesome but like don't listen to your wife's or your mom's compliments <laughs> you know like they're always gonna say nice things to you uh it's nice it feels good but we're not reliable <laughs> yeah you need a realistic feedback So, the friend that tells you that you look like shit, maybe he's a true friend. Quer dizer, às vezes não. What do we like to do together? <laughs> Watch Netflix. Yeah. We do, that's our thing though. Like, we've always watched shows together. Mm -hmm. Even when we were long distance, we would watch the same show at the same time. It was super cute. Um, yeah, like on Skype. We'll call each other on Skype and play at the same time. Yeah, I mean, it's the moment like I have with her, you know, at night at the end of the day, we go to the couch and watch our show. It's like, we don't have to say anything, but just being there with each other just feels nice. And we go to sushi a lot. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. We don't party. <laughs> We're not very fun. We, we don't do much. The gym, Netflix, and sushi. Mm -hmm. Have I ever, like, cheated on my diet during prep? And have you ever cheated on your diet during the project? You have never cheated. Ever. If you no, cheat, no, if you cheat, it's because you're allowed to, though. Or you'll eat lean protein. You'll be like, it's two in the morning and I can't sleep because I'm so hungry, so mm -hmm. I'll, I'll cook chicken breast. I don't consider that cheating. Like when I was super, super, super hungry that I couldn't even sleep, I would go down to the kitchen and like cook something with protein, just protein, like egg whites, maybe like a no carb pancake with just egg whites and whey, something like that, something sweet, something just, just like satisfied my uh, cravings at that time. But you no, know, like cheating, like that. Yeah, But I never went like to McDonald's or like fast food or just eat a bunch of calories, a bunch of junk food without permission. Yeah, crazy actually how dedicated he is during prep. How did you cheat? Sushi, lots of times. We've gone to sushi like four or five times during this challenge. But the thing is, 
I feel like I'm still a normal person. Like this challenge is important to me, but I'm not mm -hmm. stepping on stage. So I feel like it, maybe I probably, I wouldn't cheat if I was doing something like that, but this is just for me. And so since it's just for me, I also need to do things that keep me happy. So sushi for your birthday, you know, when I passed my exam, like those things were important to me. So I did okay though at sushi. Mm -hmm. I didn't mm -hmm. eat as much as I would normally, but still cheating for sure. Okay, so last question. <laughs> oh, can I try to understand it? Yeah. Holly thinking about competing, or like is Holly thinking about competing? Um, uh, something that she's putting on the shape. I don't know. It's and yeah. you, Kyle. What is your next battalion? What's battalion? No say. Mm, competition. Hero. Next bat. Bat. B A T. What's your next? Battle? Yeah! Do I think about competing? Yes, all the time, especially when you are competing. Every time I'm at a competition, I can't help but think about what it would be like to be on stage and if I could do it. So I've thought about it, but right now I still don't think I'm going to. I don't know what category would be good for me first off, and I don't know if I'm mentally ready to take that step, to focus that hard, to be judged against other girls on stage. Like, I don't know in my mind if I can do it. So right now, I'm gonna say probably not, but just know that who knows one day, because I do think about it. I don't force her to do it. Like, if she wants to do it, that's fine. Uh, but like, it's not something that I really want her to do. Uh, actually, like for me, if she doesn't compete, even better, because I know how hard it is, uh, I know how much it's gonna suffer, and I know that Holly is very competitive by nature, so even if they she They probably loses, don't believe that. No, but she is. <laughs> she wants to be the best at everything, and she does really well in her life academically, like she's the best, but like here is a different playing field, mm -hmm. and like if she loses to someone that's been working out for like 10 years, taking steroids, and all these things, she's gonna be devastated. She's gonna be like, oh, I suck, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, she's not gonna be happy. So, oh, I just know it's probably not the best for her mental health. So I, I if you don't compete, even better. You can be an Instagram model, you know? But like, if you want to, if you want to compete, it's fine, I'll support you. Right now, Let's I'm do it. loving what I'm doing on Instagram. I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. But like, honestly, so, competing, it doesn't sometimes look I don't even, like, you know, like sometimes I'm like, why the hell am I doing this? Yeah. You know, because like I've seen what you go through. You, yeah, it's I see what Dora goes something, through. It, it, like, yeah, it's something you do for yourself. Yeah. Okay. I need to do it because it gives me a sense of purpose. I'm competitive too. I need to have a goal always, and I want to better myself. Right. So I compete because of that. But like, I don't need to compete for a living. You know. And you don't need to do that. So like only if you really want to like, I want to step on stage for me and do this and, and prove to myself that I can do it, that's fine. But don't do it for other people. Don't do it like to get more followers or more hype or get more likes on Instagram. You know, just that's not the right reason. To the do likes it. on Instagram are fun right now, ever since I started taking bikini photos. Yeah, so you can be an Instagram model. You know? I'm loving it on Instagram. It's probably not gonna happen. I think I would be surprised, just as surprised as anyone else. If <laughs> it didn't happen. No. And it's nice that you don't pressure me to do it. We don't do stuff just for the views yeah. in this family. Yeah. <laughs> but if we do it, I think it's better if we do it together. Which is gonna suck, no. but we're gonna have more compassion for each other. Or we're going to kill one another. True, but if we don't do it together, we're gonna be all year round, one of us in prep. That's true. Hating the other one. And like, I'm gonna be eating a bunch of things in my off season and you're gonna be like <laughs> dieting. So we true. should do it together and just suffer together. That's when love thrives. When we're both like <laughs> at the bottom, just suffering. <laughs> we gotta time my pregnancy so that you're bulking when I'm pregnant because yeah. one of us cannot be gaining weight while the other one is losing it. It's just not yeah. gonna work. And you're gonna wake me up at 3 in the morning to get McDonald's. Yeah. E pra mim, minha próxima competição é esse ano, antes da metade do ano. Então fiquem ligados, daqui a pouco já entra em preparação e vou mostrar tudo pra vocês. Eu explico certinho qual vai ser a competição. Vai ser uma competição grande dessa vez. Vai ser muito bacana, eu tô muito animado. Mas no próximo vídeo a gente fala sobre isso. That was it. Thank you very much for watching. Obrigada, tchau! Something still likey to video e comment.
Tchau, tchau. Ok, ok. Então é isso aí, meus manos. Se você gostou do vídeo, se inscreve no canal, deixa Escreve seu like. Inscreve no canal, I knew that one. Se inscreve no canal, comenta aqui embaixo mais ideias de vídeos ou perguntas para um próximo respondendo perguntas. Você pode tirar perguntas daqui também. E é isso aí, foi um vídeo um pouco diferente, só para vocês ficarem mais íntimos da gente, conhecer melhor o casal Caio e Holly. Beleza? Então espero muito que vocês tenham gostado e eu vejo vocês no próximo vídeo. Falou. Fui! <risos> Right? Is that what you normally say after that? Mm -hmm. Cool. I know Portuguese.